Hey guys, I've done some more uh, work or play or a little bit of both. Let's play on that uh, electric bike and to kind of show you what I've, uh, where I've gotten and uh, you know, you know the routine by now, right? All right. Pile of junk gets bigger. Uh, as I work on stuff, I run around my yard and I gather junk. And uh, what I needed was a power source. So I poked and hoped through these pieces of junk that I grabbed at a yard sale last year. Uh, none of them work, so it's not like I killed a good scooter. But um, I hit the switches on the side of a couple of these and they lit up. So this one, this one, and that blue one are little 100s, electric razor scooters. And I took those batteries and fittingly put them in a, a diehard cooler, hollowed out the cooler. And we took uh, those six batteries, there were two in each, they're 12 volt batteries. And if you look at them, they're, the way I have it wired up, they're paired together. So you have basically three 12 volt batteries. And then from there, uh, they went in series to make uh, a total of 36 volts, actually. Right now we're measuring 39 volts. So what I do is I take the charger and I can take uh, each 12 volt circuit. I just put the charger on each 12 volt circuit at a time to uh, uh, charge them back up. Uh, got it all together. I got the switch kind of <laughs> wired up on the dash for now just to uh, give me a, a bit of a throttle. I uh, made the rack so it kind of works. I elongated and uh, added some uh, some steel rods from a uh, snowblower. Heated them up red hot and pounded them flat and drilled a hole in them. And then uh, made another bracket on the front to uh, support it and tie it into the rest of the frame. And put her all back together. Uh, I, as you can see by the weather, it's a little rough to kind of go riding around. But um, it did uh, uh, work. The thing that I ran into was, which I was kind of afraid of, I think these batteries are just pretty much uh, shot. They did not hold the charge for very long. Um, kind of see what we got going on. We're, I've been charging it back up again, but that's kind of my throttle right there. And if you're, if you're light with it, you, can, you know, the thing will crawl. To, you, know, you can boost it. So that's pretty much it, powered with what we got. Last night I went to go ride it around and uh, the chain popped off. What happened was, as soon as I went to go pedal to help assist it, it took that, that top motor and kind of uh, cocked it on an angle. It wasn't supported well enough. So this morning I went out and uh, we just took another bracket and uh, drilled two holes in it and mounted lower. Because right now it's just hanging from up top. And uh, so now I attach it down below and I kind of lock the whole thing from twisting. And that seemed to do good as far as that's concerned. Um, the one issue that I did come into, let me see if I can set it on the ground to kind of show you. And the shifting and everything worked pretty good. Let me set it back down. When you get on it, with the electrics not so bad, but when you started to pedal, if you watch that bottom chain, can you see how that ends up getting the slack in it from everything tweaking? Well, when you go to pedal it, it gets even worse. And because I don't have that much contact area, that much contact area around this rear sprocket, it was starting to skip on me. Um, so what I probably have to do would be uh, either put like an idler, keep the chain more slack, and come up here with like an idler so the, so the chain wraps further around it. Or just take one of these uh, derailleur type setups here. Take one of those and uh, have that on there so it constantly takes up the slack. So uh, other than that, I, I think I learned what I wanted to learn as far as how stuff works. If I go to do it next time, I want to do a separate power source uh, to either a different sprocket or um, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll, if I, the trike that I'm going to make, I'm going to power one wheel, the sidecar wheel electrically, and I'm going to leave the bike part pedal by itself. And everybody was asking how come the pedals still go around. I do have something for that. I just didn't know if I wanted to waste it on this, which is this guy, which is that sprocket. And that sprocket goes in this hub, and this hub has that ratcheting effect so that uh, your pedals can stay still and the sprocket will still turn. Um, kind of like the rear wheel does. So, uh, 
<laughs> whether I bother putting it on this, I don't know. This will probably just get kind of put away and uh, forgotten about until I make the other one. Uh, or until I come across some cheap battery sources. And uh, these are only lead acid batteries. They're not like, uh, here's some larger ones that were in the 300. <laughs> these are totally shot. But this is pretty much what they were. Same idea. These are 9 amp hour. The uh, ones that are on there were 3.5, 12 volt. So you can see these guys are puffed out, they're no good. Anytime you see a battery with a bulge in it, forget it, it's done. It froze, it was discharged, it froze, and the water, well the water and the acid separated, froze and it cracked the plates, forget it. <laughs> so, that's what we came up with. Uh, now I want to go start on the, one of the other ones. <laughs> But uh, there's another one to add to the collection. I like working on it, uh, building them, and I do uh, actually riding them, but uh, that's my disease. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take care.